What nuclear force is responsible for beta decay? The weak nuclear force is the cause of beta decay. It is 10 to 13, 110 trillionth, as strong as the strong force. As a result the half-life of most beta decaying nuclei is long. In 1968 Abdu Salam, Sheldon Glashow, and Steven Weinberg showed that the electromagnetic force and the weak nuclear force were actually different aspects of a single force, the electroweak force. What makes up dark matter? Many candidates have been proposed, but there is no agreement at this point. Neutrinos with mass could make up a small portion, as could brown dwarf stars that have failed to ignite. More likely candidates are the supersymmetric particles described above. Much discussion recently has focused on WIMPs, weakly interacting massive particles. If they exist they would be passing through Earth, and so several experiments are underway to detect them. Early results from one experiment claim to have detected two particles. Other experiments look for indirect evidence from gamma rays or antimatter. One result claimed to have found an excess of positrons, but not antiprotons. The composition of dark matter is one of the most active areas of investigation in astrophysics. Are there uses for alpha decay? The decay of uranium and thorium produces all the helium that exists on Earth. Most of the helium is mixed with natural gas and is extracted from gas wells. It is expensive to separate and store the helium, but, given the increasing needs for this resource, for cooling superconducting magnets used in hospital MRI machines, it is an effort that must be made. Alpha-emitting radioactive elements are used in smoke detectors. The charged alpha particles leaving the element are collected on a metal plate where they produce a small electric current. Smoke scatters the alphas, reducing the current, and triggering the alarm. What is an apparent weightlessness? Occurs when an object is in free fall. Force on object in direction opposite gravity is zero. Why do astronomers believe there is dark matter in the universe? The first hints that there is more to the universe than visible stars and galaxies came in 1 to 933 when the Swiss American astronomer Fred Zwicky, 1898 to 1974 studied the motion of galaxies in the coma cluster and estimated that in order to account for their rapid motion there must be 400 times as much mass as could be accounted for. 
In the 1970s the American astronomer Vera Rubin, 1938, studied the rotation of galaxies and found that at least half of the matter in galaxies must be invisible dark matter. Dark matter is also in evidence in gravitational lensing, where the gravitational interaction of mass with light causes the light from very distant galaxies to be bent by nearer galaxies. The result is a distortion of shape and position in the images of the distant galaxies as if they are being seen through a lens. In one set of colliding galaxies the center of mass, determined by the lensing effect, is separated from the center of optical and X-ray brightness, probably by the effect of the collisions. Radio and infrared emissions from the initial Big Bang that formed the universe is called the 3 Kelvin cosmic microwave background radiation. Understanding the details of this radiation also requires large amounts of dark matter. What is the origin of gamma rays? Gamma rays, high energy photons, or short wavelength electromagnetic waves, are emitted from the nucleus along with an alpha or beta decay. When an alpha or beta decay produces a daughter nucleus, that nucleus is often in an excited state. One or more gammas are emitted as the nucleus settles down to its lowest energy, or ground state. Gammas are like high-energy X-rays, but are emitted from the nucleus, not the electrons, of an atom. How did the study of beta decay result in the discovery of a new particle? In beta decay a nucleus emits an electron. The electron isn't in the nucleus originally, but results from the change of a neutron into a proton. Studies of the energy of the emitted electron showed that, instead of having a single energy like an alpha has, the energies of the electrons were spread from near zero to a maximum energy. Early investigators recognized that this suggested that energy was not conserved in beta decay. Austrian physicist Wolfgang Pauli, 1900-1958 Proposed in 1930 that a second particle was emitted along with the electron. This particle had to be neutral and zero, or extremely small mass and he named it the neutrino, or little neutral one. The neutrino wasn't detected experimentally until 1956. We now know that. The neutrino emitted in beta decay is actually an antineutrino. The question of its mass will be discussed in the chapter on unanswered questions. When a nucleus undergoes beta decay the number of protons increases by 1 as the number of neutrons decrease by 1. So, for example, carbon-14, 6 protons and 8 neutrons, becomes nitrogen-14, 7 protons and 7 neutrons. With the emission of the beta, electron, and an antineutrino. What is atmospheric physics?
study of the atmosphere of Earth and other planets, especially effects of global warming and climate change. What happens to an element when it decays by emitting an alpha particle? The nucleus that results from a radioactive decay is called the daughter. The number of nucleons in a radioactive decay does not change, and in an alpha decay the number of protons of the original must equal the number of protons in the daughter plus the number of protons in the alpha. The same is true for the number of neutrons. So, for example, when uranium-238, with 92 protons and 146 neutrons emits an alpha. The daughter has 90 protons and 144 neutrons. It is thorium-234. The alpha is emitted with a specific energy. Only very heavy nuclei decay by alpha decay. What is an antenna? Used to transmit or receive electromagnetic radio waves. What is the island of stability? All the isotopes of elements beyond lead are radioactive. Some have lifetimes of tens of millions of years, while others are fractions of a second. Nuclear physicists and chemists know that isotopes that have magic numbers of neutrons or protons are more stable than others. They have proposed that very heavy isotopes with a neutron number around 180 and a proton number around 110 should be more stable than those with fewer or greater neutrons and protons. A glance at the table of elements beyond uranium shows that elements around 110 have longer lifetimes than others. But researchers have not yet been able to create isotopes with enough neutrons to reach this island. What is the Archimedes Principle? An object immersed in a fluid will experience a buoyant force equal to the weight of the displaced fluid. What is absolute zero? Temperature at which molecular motion is at a minimum. What elements beyond uranium have been discovered? Elements 113 to 118 have temporary names until the International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry decides on the name. The number of atoms detected in the decays of elements 113 to 118 vary between a dozen down to even one. In the search for element 117 a total of 1,019 CA ions bombarded the 
californium target and resulted in three atoms of element 117. Elements up through californium. 98, have been produced in milligram or gram quantities. They have been used as target materials for the accelerators. That bombard them with ions in the search for heavier elements. The estimated cost of producing enough Einsteinium, 99, to be used as a target is $50 million. What is an atomic number? Number of protons in the nucleus and thus the nuclear charge. What is acceleration, A? Change in velocity divided by the time over which the change occurs, vector. What is nuclear fission? Radioactive nuclei can decay in another way they can split in two. This process is called spontaneous fission. Fission can also be produced artificially by bombarding nuclei with low energy neutrons. In fact, fission was discovered in this manner. What is accuracy? How correct or how close to the accepted result or standard a measurement or calculation has been. What is an antinode? Locations in a standing wave where there is the largest amplitude caused by constructive interference. What is an arrow of time? The forward direction of time is the one in which entropy increases or remains the same. What are possible replacements or additions to the standard model? One proposed replacement is called supersymmetry. Each boson in the standard model has a supersymmetric fermion partner particle, or sparticle. And each fermion has a supersymmetric boson particle. They are called sleptons, squarks, glunios, and photinos. These particles must be much more massive than the standard model particles. At least 480 billion electron volts. At this time there is no direct evidence of their existence. Although the LHC might be able to reach high enough energies to find them. A second replacement is string theory. String theory requires a 10-dimensional space-time rather than the normal 4-dimensional space-time. 
three spatial dimensions and one time dimension. A string is a tiny closed loop, like a rubber band. In some theories the loop can break into an open length, like a piece of yarn, but in others it cannot. Strings vibrate at characteristic frequencies, like guitar strings. Each vibration frequency corresponds to an elementary particle. If a string theory is to include fermions, quarks and leptons, supersymmetry must exist. The great advantage of string theory is that the graviton, the particle that carries the gravitational force, is naturally accommodated. But, if string theory is to be a theory of quantum gravity then the size of a string must be the size of the so-called Planck length, 1.6 x 10 to 35 m. That is an unimaginably small length, 10 to 20 as large as a proton. String theories, however, contain symmetries that make their effects felt at larger distances. At this time there is no experiment that could test string theory. If supersymmetric particles are found, then string theory may garner more support. How can these two forces that are so different in strength and range be unified? It only happens at extremely high energies, corresponding to a temperature of 1015 K. Such as occurred in the first few moments after the Big Bang or in an accelerator. They received the 1979 Nobel Prize for their work. What is an anode? Positive electrode or terminal on, E. G a battery, electrolytic cell, or cathode ray tube. How is antimatter used in medicine? A three-dimensional image that shows biological activity in a person can be made using PET. Or positron emission tomography. PET uses a short-lived positron-emitting isotope, typically 11C. 13N, 15O, or 18F. The isotope is chemically attached to a molecule that is involved in the activity that is to be studied. Fluid containing that molecule is injected into the person and after enough time passes for the molecule to reach its target, the person is put into the PET machine. The positron that is emitted by the decaying nucleus strikes an electron and decays into two gammas that are simultaneously emitted back to back, that is, 180 degrees apart. Detectors record the arrival of the two gammas and computers extrapolate them back to the location of the gamma emission. When a sufficient number of events are recorded a three-dimensional image of the region where the biologically active molecule accumulated can be made. PET scans can be combined with CT or MRI scans to pair information on the anatomy with biological activity for diagnostic purposes.
What is acoustics? Study of the ways musical instruments produce sounds, the design of concert halls, using ultrasound images. What is quantum teleportation and how does it use entanglement? First, what it is not. It is not beam me up, Scotty where a person disappears at one place and appears at another. It involves only information transfer by either photons or atoms. Teleportation involves An atom whose state is to be communicated from a sender, Alice, to a receiver, Bob. It also involves a source of two entangled photons. Alice first sets or measures the state of the atom. This is the information she will send to Bob. At the same time she measures the polarization of one of the two photons. This polarization information is the encryption key that will allow Bob to decode the information. Because the two photons are entangled the polarization of the transmitted photon is fixed. Bob now has the key that allows him to decode the information Alice sent. In practice, of course, the encryption key isn't the polarization of a single photon, but many. The longest distance information has been teleported is 16 kilometers through the air in Beijing. What is dark energy? For the first 10 billion years of the existence of the universe the attractive forces of gravity on matter both ordinary and dark slowed the expansion of the universe. But beginning about 5 billion years ago the universe began to expand at an increasing rate. Two studies of Supi movie have documented this acceleration. The cause of this expansion has been called dark energy, but the nature of dark energy is totally unknown. It interacts only via gravity and is very dilute. One possibility is that Einstein's general relativity has to be modified by the addition of a cosmological constant. Einstein himself considered such a constant, then discarded it, calling it his biggest blunder. The problem with such a constant is that particle physics estimates the value, in proper units, of one. But the value required to explain the extra expansion is 10120. This huge discrepancy cannot be explained. What is antimatter? In 1932 Carl Anderson, 1905-1991, was studying particles produced when cosmic rays struck lead sheets in a cloud chamber that was in a magnetic field. He found low-mass particles that curved the opposite direction from electrons, showing that they had positive charge. He later confirmed the existence of these particles by using a laboratory source of high-energy gamma rays. This positive electron was named the positron and was the first form of antimatter found. 
Anderson shared the 1936 Nobel Prize for his discovery. When a gamma ray with sufficient energy strikes matter it can produce an electron-positron pair. Energy is converted into particles with mass. The minimal amount of gamma ray energy needed is given by Einstein's famous equation. A gamma equals molectron 2 plus positron 2. The unchanged arc gamma produces a negatively charged electron and a positively charged positron, so electric charge is conserved. Positrons are also emitted in radioactive decay of isotopes that have a deficit of neutrons. For example, stable carbon exists as 12C or 13C, 6 protons and either 6 or 7 neutrons. As was discussed above, 14C decays by emitting an electron. One of the neutrons changes to a proton with the emission of the electron and antineutrino. On the other hand, 11C, with only 5 neutrons, is a positron emitter. One of the protons changes to a neutron with the emission of a positron and a neutrino. When a positron strikes matter the positron and an electron annihilate each other, producing two or three gammas. Particles with mass are converted to energy. What is astrophysics? Study of how astronomical bodies, such as planets, stars, and galaxies, interact with one another. What are atoms? Smallest piece into which an element can be divided and retain its properties. What are atoms? Smallest piece into which an element can be divided and retain its properties. What is an audion? A vacuum tube amplifier invented in 1906 by Lee de Forest. What is an audion? A vacuum tube amplifier invented in 1906 by Lee de Forest. What is a barometer? Device to measure gas pressure. What is a barometer? Device to measure gas pressure. What is a Bernoulli effect?
one of three causes of lift. Due to difference in air pressure on upper and lower surfaces of wing. What is a Bernoulli effect? One of three causes of lift. Due to difference in air pressure on upper and lower surfaces of wing. What is a beta decay? Type of radioactive decay where nucleus emits a beta particle. Electron, from the change of a neutron into a proton. Antineutrino also emitted. Result is nucleus with same. Atomic mass number but atomic number increased by 1. What is a beta decay? Type of radioactive decay where nucleus emits a beta particle. Electron, from the change of a neutron into a proton. Antineutrino also emitted. Result is nucleus with same. Atomic mass number but atomic number increased by 1. What are beta particles? Electrons emitted at high energy by some radioactive nuclei. What are beta particles? Electrons emitted at high energy by some radioactive nuclei. What is biophysics? Study of the physical interactions of biological molecules. What is biophysics? Study of the physical interactions of biological molecules. What is black? The absence or the absorption of all light. What is black? The absence or the absorption of all light. What is a block and tackle? Simple machine that is a combination of fixed and movable pulleys.
What is a block and tackle? Simple machine that is a combination of fixed and movable pulleys. What is the Bohr model? A nuclear model but with electrons moving in only certain allowed orbits at discrete radii and with specific energies. When in these orbits their radii and energies are constant. The atoms do not emit or absorb radiation. Electrons gain or lose energy when they jump from one alloyed orbit to another. Then they emit or absorb light with a frequency given by HF equals E2. E1 where E2 and E1 are the energies of the electrons in the allowed orbits. What is the Bohr model? A nuclear model but with electrons moving in only certain allowed orbits at discrete radii and with specific energies. When in these orbits their radii and energies are constant. The atoms do not emit or absorb radiation. Electrons gain or lose energy when they jump from one alloyed orbit to another. Then they emit or absorb light with a frequency given by HF equals E2. E1 where E2 and E1 are the energies of the electrons in the allowed orbits. What is the boiling point? Temperature at which pressure of the water vapor equals the atmospheric pressure. What is the boiling point? Temperature at which pressure of the water vapor equals the atmospheric pressure. What is a Bose-Einstein condensate? Quantum effects on a macroscopic scale exhibited by extremely cold gas of atoms, boson particles like photons and gluons with integral spin. What is a Bose-Einstein condensate? Quantum effects on a macroscopic scale exhibited by extremely cold gas of atoms, boson particles like photons and gluons with integral spin. How was the plutonium bomb used? The plutonium bomb, named Fat Man for its shape, was dropped on the city of Nagasaki, Japan. On August 9, 1945, it contained 6.4 kilograms, 14 pounds, of plutonium-239.
about 20% physionide. And less than 1 gram was converted into energy with the equivalent of 21,000 tons of TNT. As many as 80,000 people were killed in the attack. What is a Bose-Einstein condensate? Quantum effects on a macroscopic scale exhibited by extremely cold gas of atoms. Boson particles like photons and gluons with integral spin. What is active noise cancellation, ANC? Device that creates a waveform that is the opposite of the noise so that the noise is cancelled. How many nations have nuclear weapons? The Soviet Union exploded a nuclear device in 1949. It was similar to FAT. Man and was built using information delivered to that country by spies. China, Britain, and France developed nuclear weapons in the 1950s. South Africa had nuclear weapons but abandoned the program. Israel is suspected of having weapons, but has never admitted it. India and Pakistan have both tested nuclear weapons. Iran and North Korea are suspected of developing nuclear weapons. By 1953 there had been 50 above-ground tests of nuclear weapons that created radioactive fallout. Contaminating milk and animals. These effects alerted the public to the danger of such testing. The Cold War, however, created an atmosphere in which treaties could not be negotiated. In 1963, a partial test ban treaty was signed. Prohibiting tests in the atmosphere, underwater, and in space. In 1968 the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty was signed. Non-nuclear weapon states were prohibited from building or acquiring nuclear weapons. Many nations have signed the treaty, although some major states did not on the basis that it makes no effort to curb development by states that already have such weapons. In 1996 the Comprehensive Test Ban Treaty was adopted by over two-thirds of the members of the United Nations General Assembly. The United States has signed but rejected ratification in 1999. Nevertheless, 337 facilities around the world monitor compliance with the treaty. They send data to a center in Vienna for analysis and distribution to the states that have signed the treaty. What is an alpha decay? Type of radioactive decay where nucleus emits an alpha particle. Result is nucleus with atomic number reduced by 2 and mass number reduced by 4.
What is the Bohr model? A nuclear model but with electrons moving in only certain allowed orbits at discrete radii and with specific energies. When in these orbits their radii and energies are constant. The atoms do not emit or absorb radiation. Electrons gain or lose energy when they jump from one allowed orbit to another. Then they emit or absorb light with a frequency given by HF equals E2. E1 where E2 and E1 are the energies of the electrons in the allowed orbits. What is an alloy? A metal that is a mix of two or more different metals. What is a beta decay? Type of radioactive decay where nucleus emits a beta particle. Electron, from the change of a neutron into a proton. Antineutrino also emitted. Result is nucleus with same. Atomic mass number but atomic number increased by 1. What is an aneroid barometer? Device to measure gas pressure in which the elastic top of an extremely low pressure drum is bent by the pressure. What is nuclear fusion? Nuclear fusion is the opposite of fission. Two nuclei join, or fuse together, forming a more massive nucleus. The mass of the resultant nucleus is less than that of the reacting nuclei, so energy is released. Because the reacting nuclei are both positively charged, there is a large repulsive force between them. To overcome this force the reacting nuclei must have very high energy. Fusion was first observed by the British physicist Mark Oliphant. 1901-2000, in 1932. A typical fusion reaction involves two isotopes of hydrogen, 2H, or deuterium, and 3H, or tritium. They fuse to produce 4He, releasing a neutron. The energy released is more than a million times larger than that released. When an electron combines with a proton to produce a hydrogen atom, Nuclear fusion occurs naturally in stars like our sun, but reproducing a fusion reaction in the laboratory has proven to be very difficult because it takes a lot of energy to fuse nuclei together. What are alpha particles? Helium atoms with two electrons removed emitted with high energy by some radioactive nuclei.
Why was plutonium used in bombs? Plutonium is not found in nature, but it is produced in reactors by bombarding uranium-238 with neutrons. Plutonium-239, 239 PU, can be fissionated by slow neutrons, and so could be used in weapons. In December 1942, Hanford, Oregon, was chosen as a site for reactors that would produce plutonium. Hanford was selected because it was isolated but also on the Columbia River, which afforded a source of cooling water. What is an audion? A vacuum tube amplifier invented in 1906 by Lee DeForest. What is a barometer? Device to measure gas pressure. What is a Bernoulli effect? One of three causes of lift. Due to difference in air pressure on upper and lower surfaces of wing. What was done in Los Alamos? In September 1942, General Groves and Robert Oppenheimer chose Los Alamos, New Mexico, as the site for the top secret laboratory at which weapons would be developed. 35 miles northwest of Santa Fe. It was almost totally isolated and the site was occupied only by a school. During World War II hastily erected housing held Nobel Prize winning scientists. Younger scientists and engineers recruited into the project, wives and children, and soldiers. After determining the critical mass, the minimal amount of enriched uranium needed to create a bomb. They designed and built the uranium-based weapon called Little Boy. The uranium was divided into two halves and placed in a cannon-like container. An explosive charge drove the two masses together. Forming a large enough mass of uranium to sustain a rapid chain reaction and explode. This weapon was never tested. It contained 64 kilograms. 141 pounds of uranium, about 2.5 times the critical mass. Less than 1 kilograms, 2 pounds, of the uranium fissionate. Only 0.6 grams, 0.001 pounds, was converted into energy. But the result was the equivalent of 15,000 tons of TNT. Little Boy was dropped on Hiroshima, Japan. On August 6, 1945. Over 100,000 people were killed in the blast, resulting fires and effects of radiation. The second task of Los Alamos was to design and build a weapon using plutonium. Originally they had expected to use the cannon-type method used with the uranium bomb. 
but when the plutonium was produced by the Hanford reactors it was found to contain 240 PU. And another design had to be developed. They arranged a subcritical plutonium mass in the shape of a sphere and used specially designed explosive charges to simultaneously compress the plutonium, increasing its density above the critical point. Scientists were uncertain that the design would work, so they decided to test the device first. What is an amplitude? The distance on a wave from the midpoint to the point of maximum displacement, crest or compression. What is amplitude modulation, AM? M wave amplitude changes to represent transmitted information. What are beta particles? Electrons emitted at high energy by some radioactive nuclei. What is the boiling point? Temperature at which pressure of the water vapor equals the atmospheric pressure. Did physicists recognize the military uses of fission? Lisa Meitner had recognized that extra neutrons could produce a chain reaction that would produce a very large amount of energy. In early 1939 physicists from many countries attempted to create such chain reactions by slowing down the released neutrons. Among these were Enrico Fermi and a Hungarian-born physicist. Leo Szilard. They saw signs that such a reaction had occurred. In August 1939 Szilard drafted a letter to President Franklin D. Roosevelt, 1882-1945, that the German results could lead to in an extremely powerful new weapon. To give his letter more weight he convinced Einstein to sign the letter. It worked. Roosevelt directed the government to support fission research and created the Uranium Committee. While there were several important studies during the next three years, it was the British who made the breakthrough finding that the rare isotope uranium-235 could be used in a weapon. The Americans were informed but ignored the results until a personal visit by one of the British team members convinced the Uranium Committee of the need for action. The United States then established a new office that could authorize large-scale engineering projects. Enriched in Uranium-235 created a need for enrichment plants. One method chosen had been developed in California. Uranium metal would be evaporated in a vacuum. The atoms went through a narrow slit and then into a region with a strong magnetic field. 
Because of their mass difference the two isotopes followed slightly different paths. The atoms condensed on the surfaces of separate containers. Dozens of giant machines, called calotrons, were built in a plant in Oak Ridge, Tennessee. Chosen because abundant electricity was available from the nearby hydroelectric plants. Not enough copper was available to wind the coils for the magnets so 70,000. 000 pounds of silver bullion were borrowed from the U.S. Treasury to be formed into wires for the machines. Somewhat enriched uranium from the calotrons was then combined with fluorine to produce. The gas U6. Because of the mass difference of the two isotopes 235U6 would diffuse. Through porous membranes slightly faster, about 0.5%, than its more massive counterpart. Thousands of separations were needed to produce weapons grade uranium, 85 to 90% 235U. The plant at Oak Ridge built to accomplish this gaseous diffusion had an area of 2 million square feet. Employed 12,000 workers, and cost the equivalent of $6.2 billion in 1999 dollars. At one time it consumed 17% of all the electricity produced in the United States more than New York City. What is angular momentum? Equal to the product of its moment of inertia and its angular velocity. What is a block and tackle? Simple machine that is a combination of fixed and movable pulleys. How is nuclear fission used peacefully? Nuclear reactors produce electric power. The energy from uranium fission heats water that circulates through the reactor. The heated water produces steam that turns turbines connected to generators. As is the case with all electric power plants. Only about one third of the energy produced by the reactor is converted into electrical energy. The remaining energy heats local rivers, lakes, or the atmosphere. In the United States there are 104 reactors that provide about 20% of the electricity used by our country. Will more nuclear power plants be built? Concerns over the buildup of greenhouse gases and the environmental problems caused by coal mining has led to renewed interest in building new nuclear power plants. Advocates of construction point out that if a standardized plant could be designed, then licensing delays could be reduced and design costs minimized. In addition, Several new types of plants have been suggested and undergone small-scale testing. These promise to be simpler and safer than traditional designs. While recycling nuclear fuel is an attractive option.
the plutonium in used fuel rods raises issues of nuclear weapon proliferation. The problem of long-term storage of nuclear waste still needs to be solved. What is air drag? Friction caused by an object moving through air. Drag depends on velocity, area, shape, and the density of the air. How was nuclear fission discovered? Italian physicist Enrico Fermi, 1901-1954 Was appointed professor at the University of Rome at the age of 24. Among many projects in which he and his group were involved, perhaps none was more important than his. Studies of the reactions produced when slow neutrons struck nuclei. Fermi had discovered in 1934 that slowing neutrons by passing them through paraffin greatly increased this ability to produce nuclear reactions. He did systematic studies of the results of bombarding a series of materials with slow neutrons. The German chemist Otto Hahn, 1879-1968, had a distinguished career that included inventing the field of radiochemistry in 1905, using chemical techniques and measurements of half-lives to study the results of nuclear reactions he had discovered dozens of isotopes and at least one element. Three times he was nominated for the Nobel Prize. Since 1907 he had collaborated with the Austrian physicist Lisa Meitner, 1878-1968. The teamwork between a physicist and a chemist was a great advantage. Hahn and Meitner, together with Hahn's young assistant Fritz Strassmann, 1902-1980. Employed Fermi's slow neutron techniques to create nuclear reactions, and thus more isotopes. When, in 1938, they tried bombarding uranium with neutrons they expected to create new elements beyond uranium in the periodic table. But they kept finding the element barium in the bombarded uranium. Starting in 1933, the Nazi regime forced people of Jewish origin out of all laboratories and universities. Meitner, who had Jewish parents but had converted to Protestantism in 1908, was protected because she was Austrian. But, when Austria was incorporated into Germany, she lost that protection. In July 1938, she took the train from Berlin to the Netherlands. Thanks to the intervention of two Dutch physicists she was allowed to leave Germany. But with no possessions. She soon moved to Sweden and kept up her collaboration with Han by mail. On December 17, 1938, Hahn and Strassmann submitted their findings for publication but admitted that they had no explanation for the appearance of barium. Meitner and her nephew Otto Frisch utilized Niels Bohr's liquid drop model of the nucleus and Einstein's E equals mc2 equation to propose that the nucleus had split into two releasing both extra neutrons and a large amount of energy. 
the Meitner Frisch paper was submitted a few days after Hans. Frisch returned to his laboratory in England and confirmed Hans' result in January. 1939 Hahn won the Nobel Prize in Chemistry for his work in 1944, but Meitner never did. It was not long after scientists figured out how to create nuclear fusion that the Nazis began conducting research on how to turn this science into a powerful bomb. Albert Einstein and physicist Leo Szilard urged U.S. President Franklin D. Roosevelt start a program to complete a nuclear warhead before the Germans did. What are atoms? Smallest piece into which an element can be divided and retain its properties. What is an ampere, A? Unit of measure of electric current. Equal to one coulomb of charge passing through a wire divided by one second. What is an alternating current, AC? Polarity of the voltage source and thus current changes back and forth at a regular rate. What is aerodynamics? An aspect of fluid dynamics dealing with the movement of air. What is biophysics? Study of the physical interactions of biological molecules. What is black? The absence or the absorption of all light. What are the strengths and weaknesses of nuclear power? Electric power is produced primarily by plants using hydrocarbon fuels coal oil, and natural gas. These are usually called fossil fuels and are no longer being created. When they are used up these resources are gone. Nuclear power plants can reduce our reliance on such fuels. Uranium, however, is also a fossil fuel. Coal mining has significant environmental costs. Oil is used mostly for transportation. Natural gas is relatively clean and is used mostly for home and industrial heating. Another advantage of nuclear power is the reduction in greenhouse gases, primarily carbon dioxide. One major disadvantage of nuclear power is the cost of the plant and the extremely long time scale associated with obtaining approval and constructing the facility. 
Costs are difficult to calculate precisely, but nuclear power and offshore wind farms are the two most expensive methods of generating electricity, while oil from the Middle East is the cheapest. As a result of these uncertainties, factors other than costs are increasingly important. Other disadvantages include the production of nuclear waste that poses long-term dangers to people due to its intense radioactivity. No long-term storage plans have been AP proved. Although underground storage in salt deposits is the most likely method. How is uranium enriched today? Today ultracentrifuges are used for uranium enrichment. A centrifuge is routinely used in medical labs to separate materials of different density. The test tubes are spun rapidly and the denser materials move away from the center of rotation because it requires more centripetal force to pull them toward the center. A gas ultracentrifuge uses a rapidly rotating drum to separate the UF6 with the two isotopes. Gas centrifuges supply about 54% of the enriched uranium today. Each centrifuge is a more effective separator than a stage in a gaseous diffusion plant and requires only 6% of the electrical energy of gaseous diffusion. When was the first atomic device exploded? The gadget was a test version of the plutonium bomb. It was installed on the top of a 30 meter, 100 foot tower in the New Mexico desert at a location 35 miles southeast of Socorro, New Mexico, on the White Sands Proving Ground. The explosion, called Trinity, occurred on July 16, 1945. The energy yield was about 20,000 tons of TNT. More than twice what had been expected. The implosion type bomb was much safer and more effective than the cannon style little boy design and has been used for all other nuclear weapons. What is brass? An alloy that is typically 80% to 90% copper with zinc. What is brass? An alloy that is typically 80% to 90% copper with zinc. What is a British thermal unit, BTU? Unit of energy often used to measure heat in homes and industries. What is a British thermal unit, BTU?
Unit of energy often used to measure heat in homes and industries. What are brittle materials? Usually break when under tension rather than compression. What are brittle materials? Usually break when under tension rather than compression. What is bronze? An alloy of copper and tin. What is bronze? An alloy of copper and tin. What is the buoyant force? The reduction in weight equal to the net upward force of a fluid. What is the buoyant force? The reduction in weight equal to the net upward force of a fluid. What is a calorie, cal? A unit of energy that is used both to measure both thermal energy and heat. What is a calorie, cal? A unit of energy that is used both to measure both thermal energy and heat. What is a candela, CD? Unit of measurement of luminous intensity. What is a candela, CD? Unit of measurement of luminous intensity. What is a capacitor? Device that consists of two conducting plates with opposite charge separated by an insulator to store electric charge. What is a capacitor? Device that consists of two conducting plates with opposite 
charge separated by an insulator to store electric charge. What is carbon dating? Method of dating objects by measuring relative amounts of radioactive and stable carbon in them. What is carbon dating? Method of dating objects by measuring relative amounts of radioactive and stable carbon in them. What is Carnot efficiency? Largest efficiency that a heat machine can obtain. E equals, thought, cold, slash thought. Cathode negative electrode or terminal on, E. G a battery, electrolytic cell, or cathode ray tube. What is Carnot efficiency? Largest efficiency that a heat machine can obtain. E equals, thought, cold, slash thought. Cathode negative electrode or terminal on, E. G a battery, electrolytic cell, or cathode ray tube. 